William Shakespeare, the greatest poet, playwright, and dramatist of all times, once said, All worlds a stage. It is, definitely. But in the context of my presentation today, I'd rather say, All worlds a stage, but with levels. Your first victory, you're in level one. And then another victory, you're just in level two. And then another one, still in level three. You see, these endless levels will never cease to exist in your life. I am a good student, academically and co-curriculum wise as well. And every year, my school used to perform exceptionally well in the final examinations. So well that the state newspaper used to publish a page full of profiles of our students who topped their final examinations. And I was taught to be among them. My first coverage in newspaper, class 10 ICAC board examinations, school topper. Wow, congratulations Praveshika, what next? <laughs> and then another one, Class 12, final examination, board examination, school topper. You go, girl, we want more. So you see, there might be a list of achievements, yet we are told we are never enough. This was a tiny tale of a random Gen Z who is working constantly under pressure just to win the competition any competition, mind you. Gen Z or Generation Z or Generation Z was born between 1997 and 2012, is the most multicultural, the most fun-loving, bubbly, talented, the most accepting generation, but the most depressed generation too. We are raised on the internet and social media and the oldest members of the Gen Z community passing out from the college in the year 2020 and now just entering the workforce. Talking about our way of life, we or the Gen Z, members of the Gen Z community got their first smartphone before their 12th birthday party. They communicate primarily through social media and text and are seen to be always on the phone spending most of their time on the phone, just like the older generation spend their time watching television. And if I have to describe Generation Z from the point of view of the older generation, it would be impatient, disturbed, entitled, and apathetic. And if I have to put this in an acronym, it'd be IDEA. I stands for impatient, D stands for disturbed, E stands for entitled, and A stands for apathetic. Yes, we are impatient, disturbed, entitled, and apathetic, but not the way the crowd thinks we are. We are impatient because we are the first digital generations of all time. Yes, we've been raised with all sorts of electronic devices all around us that adds extra dopamine in our brain. And that, to your knowledge, one might know or not, makes us an addict of instant gratification. We are disturbed because we are born in a planet which already was a mess. And now we have to look for solutions for global warming, food insecurity, joblessness, homelessness, just to name a few, race and gender discrimination, etc. We are entitled to the self-evident truth that was promised during the Declaration of in Independence. Life, liberty and pursuit of happiness. And we are apathetic because we've been fed with food that makes us brain dead, resulting in poor physical health. Give this a second thought now, the statement which I'll be saying, why would anyone want to get up from the couch while the very food that we consume makes us sleep even more? 
give that a second thought. So yes, Generation Z is impatient, disturbed, entitled and apathetic. In between making this world a better place to live in, Gen Z's put their focus more on physical and mental self-care journeys. And despite all these challenges, we can, or the community, Gen Z, can tap into a deep well of authenticity, acceptance, and adaptability just to stay fueled up. We have six hours of college a day. And eight to 10 hours if you count stay backs for extra classes and preparations for events. And around 13 hours if you count assignments and homeworks. And then in between we have nine to 15 hours of voluntary work a month. And countless hours of our chosen co-curricular activities. Yet, we are seen indulging ourselves into all sorts of activities apart from academics. So interesting, so talented group of people. So talented generation, isn't that so? But you know what the sad part is? This or this is just to break away from the pressurized world around us. Basically another coping mechanism. Generation Z is also the most depressed generation of all time. And I'm still wondering that is it the amount of knowledge that is spreading across the internet and social media regarding mental health issues or is it that our generation is really worsening at an alarming rate? Please give that a second thought. Research says that one in every four persons suffers from depression and we are around 50 to 60 here, so you decide. Generation Z also faces chronic stress from other factors such as school shootings, student loan, joblessness, politics, and other sensitive factors such as depression, anxiety, harassment, insecurity, and suicide. Despite all these, we are seen to be bubbly, fun, loving, Supporting each other, holding up for each other, standing up for each other, and accepting each other just to make this planet Earth a better place to live in. This was not a story of self. This was a story we all can relate. So, hi everyone. This is Gen Z speaking. We might be stubborn, very impulsive, always on the phone, and might even refuse to socialize more often. But please trust us, we are trying, trying our best every single day.